and we're back. So, as you guys can see, I'm in a new place. Moved out from my old apartment to this one, and I'm loving it. New Year's was good. Christmas was good. Everything was good. I hope everything was good with you guys as well. And uh, let me just straighten this out a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so, as some of you know, I've been doing a lot of vegan food reviews. Um, reason being is because I actually turned vegan in December. Obviously, December is my birthday, so it's quite hard because obviously, as you can imagine, as you can imagine, <clears throat> who turns vegan like a few days for their birthday, right? On their birthday, they want to enjoy themselves. They want to, you know, eat whatever they want to eat. But for me, I decided, you know what? I want to go vegan. Like, I'm, I, something switched in my head. I really can't exactly pinpoint what it was. Um, I always wanted to go vegan, like, for a while now. But I always decided, ah, now I'll do it, you know, later on. I don't feel like doing it now. Like, I'm not ready to do it now. And literally, like, a week before my birthday, I, I felt ready, you know. And I thought, why the fuck am I going to wait till my birthday or New Year's to turn vegan, like everyone else is doing? Why not just do it now? So, fuck it. Let's go. Vegan. That's it. Turn, turn vegan. Um, it was hard. It was very hard. Even after a few days of class up in my arm. Even after a few days of me being vegan, um, what happened was I was still eating non-vegan food. And what I mean by that is foods that I was eating every day, I didn't realize they were not vegan. I just assumed they were. And an example of that would have been um, pesto. pesto. I did not know pesto had milk and egg in it. No idea, like absolutely no clue. And I was like, oh, it's vegan, it's pesto, it's only like basil, you know, whatever. I Dutch for basil, you know, some other herby stuff. And pasta, like there's no meat, there's no egg, there's no meat. Like I thought it was, you, you were basic, but apparently not. There's, there's a lot of egg and milk in it. Another one will be my multivitamins. I don't know my multivitamins had fucking pork and beef cartilage and all this other bullshit like i had no idea right i had no idea i found all that out in december so obviously that was a big trans transaction as you can imagine like things that you didn't really think were vegan are uh, things you don't think were vegan are and things that you didn't well you didn't think it wasn't vegan or was vegan i'm not vegan yeah 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 so yeah Anyway, um, and then January came and everyone turned vegan, you know, so I'm pretty sure there's a few people out there doing some vegan reviews, veganuary reviews, so this is pretty much my veganuary review, um, and yeah, how did it go? Well, how, what was it like being a vegan for two months? Any benefits? Good question. Um, yes, and no at the same time. I'll be asking, okay, why no? Let's go with no first. Did I experience a crazy amount of energy? Like, super active? Not particularly. Maybe in certain aspects, but no. Like, I still get up in the morning, go to work, feeling tired, you know, feeling, you know, a bit tired, feeling like I need an extra sleep. I didn't just call that time vegan doesn't mean that I felt any different in the morning. Um, but when it came to exercising, and I'll tell you what I mean. I do boxing. Okay, I'm, I'm a bit of a boxer. Um, when I go to my boxing gym, and I haven't been boxing about three weeks, right? So I should be a little bit off, you know. Two, two weeks, two, three weeks. I should be a little bit off, you know. No one's going to be in there... You know, just, just like if you don't go to gym for two, three weeks, you're going to be a bit off. You know, you're going to feel a bit achy, a bit, your muscles aren't used to the movement. So, um, I was there and I was on hitting the bag and I was running around, I was doing everything everyone else was doing. And I wasn't getting tired. Like, I, I wasn't really getting as tired. And I saw everyone else around me, they were sweating and they were like, you know, they, they, they were doing it half fastly. I'm like... Wow, you guys been here for quite a while, you know, and when I've been off, you guys been here and I'm still got more energy than you. And I remember even the coach said, hey, V, 
Vamian, why, why, why are you not sweating? You know, um, why are you sweating so and so? And then I was like, don't know, you tell me. You know, um, so that, that might have something to do with being vegan. Who knows? Who knows? Um, another thing would be a big thing for me, actually, a really, really big thing for me is I sweat a lot. Like, I sweat like a freaking monkey. Um, and like at times you'll be cold, you'll be fucking freezing outside, right? And I'll be sweating under my armpits. Like, I don't know why, but it just happens. I heard it could be friction. I heard it could be, you know, fucked on different things. And it was constant and all my clothes would be soaked in sweat, even though like they, they didn't even smell. It wasn't like a sweaty, like a sweaty smell. It was just like literally water coming off on the armpits, which pretty much what sweat is. But um, yeah, and that was really, really odd. And I never, I always thought it was just me. You know, it was just who I am. I'm a sweaty motherfucker. What can I say? Once I turned vegan, that reduced by like 80%. Seriously, like I was so shocked that I stopped sweating so much. Um, and I had no idea why. All I, all I could think differently was that I turned vegan. That's it. And honestly, like it actually feels really good to not be sweating as much as I used to. Even when like, I come cold, I will still be sweating, which is really weird. Um, and obviously for that to have stopped, not too sure what could have done it in my vegan diet, but maybe the meat and there you go, this processed shit full of fucking um, junk and numbers that we don't even know what they mean and chemicals that we don't even know what they do in the long term. Shit that causes cancer, who the fuck knows, right? Um, and obviously taking that out obviously had an effect on my body. Potentially even um, thinking about it now, uh, hormono, hormono, you know, because truth being told, like you're sweating a lot because hormones and probably, you know, your body's trying to get rid of like whatever's inside you, right? And like I said, even when it's cold, I'm still sweating. That that just shows that I've got a lot of excess junk in my body that he doesn't know how to get rid of it. So he's probably just sweating it all out. That's why people say, oh, go to a sauna so you sweat out the bad, the bad stuff. And that's literally what was coming off of me, but it wasn't really smelling. Um, so obviously by me, stop cutting out meat and all this dairy and junky products, it actually helped out quite a lot. Um, anything else that I can think of? Not really. Um, not really at all. It's just been a huge struggle. Obviously, people say you have to be rich to be vegan, but you don't have to be rich, like really. Rice, beans and vegetables, that doesn't cost more than, you know, if five pounds. If that, you know, uh, I buy a few carrots and a few peas, beans and rice, or maybe some lentils, it really doesn't cost that much. And that'll last you probably two, three meals. You know, instead of buying chicken, that costs five pounds and that goes off in a few days and you gotta eat it all, you know, and you're gonna buy other things because you're not gonna eat just chicken, are you? So that's what I mean. Obviously, you can be very, to put it like this, to be vegan is easy to a certain extent and it's cheap to a certain extent however the cheapness to it means you got to cook a lot more um, and obviously you got to get used to eating just more plain simple stuff you know there's no fried chicken there's none of that obviously you can buy like tofu fryer which at times can be really absolutely delicious but um, apart from that you know, you can be boring or you can be spend a bit extra and eat your fake meat substitutes, you know. It's, it's completely up to you. Like, it's up to you. It's not being, you don't have to be rich to do it, but you can be really boring about it or you can just, you know, try to enjoy yourself and eat what you want to eat, you know, vegan-wise. Um, and yeah, um, I have been eating a lot more tofu and obviously soya. Have I noticed me turning more feminine no don't feel no different have i noticed any hormonal changes to my body apart from the one i told you about sweating that's it i don't feel you know anything different like i work out and um you know i go to the gym i lift some weights you know i've got 
I got, still got the bit of muscle there. I haven't, hit, I haven't been hitting the gym in a while, you know, but um, you can still see some striations there and everything else, you know what I mean? But have I lost some muscle? I can't answer that. And the reason why I can't answer that is because I actually stopped lifting so much weight. Before I used to lift quite a lot and I always eat a lot of meat. But since my transaction to be vegan, I also changed the way I train. I started focusing more on boxing. So boxes and weightlifting, what happened was I used to weightlift and I used to box. I used to get a lot of shoulder injuries and a bunch of other injuries. And they always relate back to weightlifting. So I cut back on weightlifting to prevent my injuries for boxing. I still weightlift, but not as much as I used to. And once I done that transaction was the same time I went vegan. So I can't really give you an exact answer to that question. However, I haven't really lost much muscle. You know, I still, you know, still got my chest muscle, still got my legs, you know, they're not very muscular, like I'm quite tall. So my muscles are quite spread out. But um, I haven't really noticed like a significant Sorry, significant muscle loss as I would have thought I would. You know, so yeah, been good. Thumbs up so far. Would I recommend you to do it? Would I recommend you right now turn vegan? I don't know. It's up to you. It really is. It really is up to you. Um, Truth being told, you're not going to be an outcast. People are going to take the piss out of you. And it's, it's, it's difficult. Like, it really is difficult being vegan. Because things you enjoy, everything that you that you like, you know, is, is probably most likely not going to be vegan friendly. But what that will teach you is discipline. What I'll give you back in return is longevity. You know, for example, I can't remember the last time I went to McDonald's because I just can't go there. You know, I can't go there. Like, I've, I'm if I'm out, for example, and I'm thinking, oh, let me get some food here. I think, shit, I can't because, you know, I can't eat there. There's literally nothing there I can eat. So it forces me to be a bit healthier. So really, in the long term, if you want to be healthier and obviously... Longevity wise, yeah, but if you're just not ready and you don't feel like it's for you, then don't do it. You know what I mean? It's quite simple, like it's not science. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll post another video. Let me know what you think. And yeah, bye.